What's going on Fight Fans, it's your host Sebastian and welcome back to the Boxing Tip. Now please tell me that you guys were watching like 15-20 minutes ago, uh, Show Extreme, fucking, oh my god, such a great fight, such a good fight. Even though I was wrong about picking the winner, I don't give a shit, because that is the type of fucking fights that we watch boxing for, alright? And I thought, you know, there was going to be some technical, and there was, there was some technicality in the fight. Uh, I was actually shocked that Emmanuel Eileen came, and I almost missed the fucking fight, mind you guys. I literally turned it on as the opening bell rang. I completely forgot that that was on a, that was the undercard. It wasn't going to be, um, it wasn't going to be on the same, you know, broad, I, I guess you could say the same time as the, the Gale Jack fight, but I mean, you guys can hear, I'm still shaking. You know what I'm saying? I was fucking shaking. My my feet were sweaty. My fucking hands, my palms were sweaty. I like, I don't even know how to explain how I feel about that fight. That fight was fucking awesome. Anyways, I thought there was going to be some technicality to the fight. Uh, there was. I was actually shocked that Emmanuel Eileen came out boxing very well. On You know, he was on his feet doing some pretty good movement. Keeping uh, Evgen Hitrov at the end of his punches. And... In the first shit, like the first minute and a half, fucking Eileen lands this fucking awesome, like overhand, straight right hand to the temple of uh, Evgen Hitrov, and it fucking stunned him. He like froze in his place, and you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, like Eileen couldn't get him out of there in the first round. And then the second round, fucking Hitrov just comes out of nowhere, just fucking boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? coming out of nowhere and then he catches another uh, I think it was a left hook from Eileen put him down you know what I'm saying it was good and then the third round and then Heatrov just came alive fucking hundred and something punches thrown was just landing punches left and right hurting Eileen and hitting him to the body and Eileen was you know trying to get away he couldn't the, he was starting to kind of get overwhelmed by the pressure and it happened for about round three and four and then round five Eileen gets back on his you know he starts doing his feet you know he starts getting back on his feet avoiding the exchanges with Heatrop and um man it it was just a fucking brilliant fight guys I'm sorry I would love to do a more detailed analysis but the, the jitters are still there only thing I can do is be excited about this fight if you haven't watched the fight or if you're recording this on DVR go back and watch it immediately or I think maybe someone already probably put it up on YouTube Go watch the fight. It was a fucking brilliant fight. I, I I can't even... Like I said, these are the type of fucking fights that we want to see. You know, even if... Even though that I agree... Even though that I think that both guys are very skilled boxers... You know, in their own right... I didn't necessarily expect this to be a chess match. You know what I'm saying? That it just not, It's just not the type of fighters that these guys are. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, I, I've held Evgen Hitrov in high regard since I started watching because I, I like the way he fights. I always thought he was a good fighter. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think this type of fight sets him back at all, just to be completely honest with you. I think he's still as good as he was before this fight even happened. Eileen, man, he's a fucking... That fucker can hit, dude. I didn't think he could punch that hard. I, I was seriously underestimating his punching power. And Evgen Heatrov, he could take a punch. You know what I'm saying? He's taken punches in fights prior. But Eileen, man, he fucking pulled some shit out of nowhere, man. Fucking both excellent inside fighters. Obviously, I think Heatrov is still the better inside fighter. But Eileen, he had to kind of give different looks. He showed some different looks. He got on the inside and he was getting some good... He was getting good work in on, on the inside as well. You know, I think Heatrov was just the more superior inside fighter. But... <clears throat> you know what a little bit what disappointed me about Heatrov in this fight is that he didn't I don't know he didn't have the same head movement and you know he was doing a pretty good job cutting the ring off at first but then eventually he, I don't know I guess his sluggishness he was just kind of following Eileen around I could go fucking all over the place with this fight I'm trying to keep it together but it disappointed me that his footwork and his head movement that I've seen in previous fights from him didn't really show up in this fight you know, I would have liked to seen more of that. 
But um, I would definitely like to see another fight between this two, these two if, you know, if they feel like a rematch is necessary. Even though Eileen knocked out Evgen Hitrov in spectacular fashion, I still think this fight could use a rematch. It's a, it was a great fight. It was a great fight. And if they have a rematch, I can expect the fight to be just as good. You know what I'm saying? Both fighters getting hurt. Evgen getting dropped, coming back, going on some fucking amazing rally, landing all these different punches. I feel like if he didn't get hurt in the first round and he was still really crisp, you know, still fresh. Because when you get knocked down, man, it takes a lot out of you. You know what I'm saying? Getting hurt takes a lot out of you, a lot, a lot out of your energy. You're trying to recuperate. You're just not the same fighter once you've been hurt. You know, some people recuperate better than uh, better than others. And Evgen was recouping very well, you know what I'm saying? And he, but he just didn't seem to have the same, you know, energy as he did. But if I feel like, I feel like if he didn't get hurt in the first round and he used his head movement even more instead of trying to make it, in, in, instead of just trying to walk in and making an inside fight, I think that was his biggest mistake, you know? At, in the beginning, he wasn't really trying to do anything to make it an inside fight. I think that's why he was walking right into those big right hands from Eileen. But if you notice, when he started to go back on his rally, he was starting to use his jab a little bit more. He was, you know, changing levels, ducking his head, and getting Eileen on the inside, and he started to go to work. And then, you know, I think his just sluggishness and just the tiredness and, you know, the exhaust, you know, both fighters seem pretty exhausted, you know what I'm saying? Eileen, he seemed to get his uh, energy back a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, he seemed to get his energy back pretty good, you know, pretty well. Uh, that rally by Heatroff didn't really do much, you know, it didn't do much to really tire him down. I think he might have just been taking a breather. Like I said, there's so many different things about this fight, so many different explanations for how things turned out in this fight. All I could say is that I would love to see that fight again, and I'm probably getting ready to rewatch it because that was just a fucking beautiful fight. Uh, very action-packed, and I said that in my breakdown and prediction video. I, I knew this fight was going to be an action fight. Obviously, I picked the wrong winner, and my breakdown wasn't exactly accurate, but like I said, like I say in some of my videos, man, and you know, like what I tell people in the comment section, like when I make these breakdown and prediction videos, I'm usually pointing out things that they do very well and things that they need to avoid. But depending on their game plan when they go inside of the ring, I can't predict that. I don't know how they're going to go inside of the ring and fight. So I can only make, you know, certain assumptions given, you know, based on information from like previous fights or from what I've seen from them. But I can't predict exactly what's going to happen inside of the ring. It's it's hard to predict something like that. I knew it was going to be an action-packed fight. I didn't know how both fighters were going to necessarily approach this. I feel like if Evgen would have used more uh, head movement, would have been a little bit lighter on his feet, I think it could have been a different story. Um, Emmanuel Eileen, I didn't expect him to, you know, use his feet so much. I expected him to use his feet. And like I said in my breakdown prediction video, I didn't think he wanted to be on the inside with Heatrov as much as Heatrov wanted to be on the inside with him. So he was going to use his feet. But I said Heatrov would also, you know, use his feet in cutting off the ring, which he did well in spots to get him back. You know what I'm saying? To get it back to being the inside fight because that's where he, you know what I'm saying, does his best work. But Eileen was able to get out away from an inside fight in that last round and you know what I'm saying guide Heatrov right into some big ass punches man and he was fast dude it was such a good fight guys that's all I can say to go just to go watch it and you know let me know what you guys think beautiful fight I would love to see it again share the video with your boxing homies share this fight with your boxing homies introduce somebody to boxing subscribe to the channel that's all i got for you guys on this one i'm sorry it wasn't as detailed as i would like it to be but understand that i am still shaking off the excitement shaking off the jitters as i'm making this video literally this video is going down about 20 minutes after the fights ended so i'm sorry if i wasn't as detailed as i as i as i could have been but you know i hope you guys understand you guys are boxing fans you know what it's like to be very you know energetic after a fight and you can't really find the exact words that you want to say, man. But 
at least I got to express my uh, enthusiasm for this fight with you guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Uh, stay tuned. I will have my Pedraza, Davis, Badu Jack, and James DeGale uh, post-fight reviews once you know their fights are uh, done taking place and it might not be tonight hopefully i can get it sometime tomorrow in the afternoon i got shit to do in the morning but aside of the point man that's all i got for you guys on uh this one i will talk to you guys on the next one peace